so this this was the stage where you went wrong okay so you went wrong so you thought bishop takes e2 and you thought i am taking you have taken my piece i am taken your piece but now with queen taking on c3 okay now white's option is what what does white option already black has taken an extra piece if he takes the bishop on e2 then the same queen will go and kill the c6 knight also and it will be safe plus it would have taken back another extra piece if you take the queen on c3 then bishop takes the queen on d1 right uh, again uh, and if you take back the bishop then the c6 knight is going if you save the knight then the bishop also saves so white has left with two rooks and two minor pieces white black is left with two rooks and three minor pieces so your calculation so you have to be very precise when you do these kind of things so what can happen and it has happened with me also sometimes uh, you lose track of who is because just imagine when you started this that time you had some calculation but finally it turned out this to do this this and now you have to calculate ki what who is ahead and who is behind actually at the end of it of this so here it happened that uh that black black could immediately win a piece see here the whole point was if queen was going to some other arbitrary square it could not have gone to b5 it went to it could have gone to c5 it could have gone to c5 but then white queen was under attack so so that is why actually what black thought with the white thought is that white queen will take the uh, bishop on e2 no it was black to play correct knight to c6 so uh, yeah it is it is actually black yeah, yeah white white mistook white did not see queen taking on c3 white thought that queen will go to some c5 or something like that uh, or <clears throat> and then white queen will take on e2 and it would be equal that is what white thought but white did not see that queen could, could take on c3 and then emerge one piece extra it's complicated right it looks complicated because you lose track of who is winning how much it is plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 yeah, whatever actually, i did not lose track yeah so so whenever you ex start exchanging pieces like this you have to be really clear that there is no intermediate move because of which you will be down sometimes it happens you start a series of exchanges two or three pieces get exchanged one after the other but that time you have to be very very careful that what you are doing okay all right so now what we will turn our attention to so there are some examples that you have to solve it in the practice section of the fundamental chess tactics which is on intermediate blow right intermediate blow there are 10 examples that you have to solve it if you have not done it yet Uh, there are four easy, five medium, and one difficult. Okay, all right. So, uh, so yeah, I think my some theories are left. Some theories are left. Yeah, we will. We are going to complete the remaining theories also. But so, so we have a few more left. In one, two, three, four, five left. Right, which will cover five weeks. Yeah, five weeks. Fine. So uh, now let me go back to the position analysis. So please, can you put it on the board? Yeah, I will put it on. And you can use a. Uh, you don't have to use only open one chess tab. You can. Yeah, use... yeah, yeah. You can put more, but it's okay. I am uh, only. I need only one tab. That's. Okay. So when was this? Oh, this was M. So yeah, I have a question. What is MCL one June? June? Yeah, that uh, I had given some names to the team like that. So when it had started in June, some last year, I think. Uh, but then why Arga? Why Arga is in it? Huh? Why is that uh, fellow who came? No, because now the team actually the team name is L one, but they are in L two now. They are playing in L two. So. Arav, Right. No, it is not our Arav. There is another Arav. Arav Gupta. Is. Arav G. Arav G. Yeah, that is Arav Gupta. Yeah, but he's so good. He's beaten all of us. I yeah. mean, he can. I can't beat him one day also. Is it okay? Okay. So look yeah. at this position. I'm going to put it on the board, and it is an interesting position. 
uh, white queen is on a6, black queen is on e4. Okay. Uh, knight is on f6, bishop is on f7. Okay. So I got it. So. Just one second. I think this is the position, right? Yeah, this is the position. Only king, I think, is left. Yeah, king is left. Now, I think rook takes f6. Yes, sir, rook takes f6. Ah, so that is... I got it in that, that time only, sir. But are you sure it works? Uh, rook takes f6. On... Spawn takes. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it works. No, uh, we have to. I think uh, pawn takes uh, works, but we have to see for checkmate on the background. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. See, there is an intermediate move involved here. So yes, sir. So back play. rank. I'm. Yeah, the bishop can go to uh, c4 to support. Bishop if... can go to c4. No. no, no. For what will black do here now? Yeah, now uh, queen to even check. Yeah. Queen to even check, then there is no problem because rook will go to f1 and it has got the support of this one. Yeah. And if you now, go yeah. double like this, then also now the bishop to c4. That yeah. who should do checkmate? No, I, I don't know. So the positions are not like that. That he someone has to win or something. It is just that what is the best move. That is why these positions are like they are not okay. telling you whether you are going to be ahead, behind, or not. What is the best move? So if they uh, put the queen and on uh, uh, the same file, then we can just checkmate back rank with our queen. So what can black do? Black has got has black got some good defensive move. Otherwise, he's just one piece down, right? Yes, sir. He's a piece down, or he want to do a checkmate. Actually, continuing from here, he can at least try just giving a checkmate. But uh, checkmate, how? There is no checkmate, right? He can't give a checkmate, but he can try some. No, but uh, there is no checkmate here. In fact, no, after no. The... Yeah, I think uh, he has to try pawn takes. I think. Sir, now actually white could also yeah. checkmate. So pawn takes. Instead of the bishop yeah. to c4, queen yeah. to a checkmate. So yeah, yeah, that is uh, that is there. That is there. So, so pawn actually, takes. So here that is why black will uh, Black will not want to give up his queen or give a thing. Black will save the queen, but after that, he's still one piece down, right? The pawn takes for black. Pawn takes rook. Pawn takes, then it is over. Game over. It's checkmate. Oh, that's checkmate. Okay. What if black plays queen to c6? Then... So then... Uh... Then queen, uh, queen takes. Queen takes? Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Sorry. Then, sorry, sorry, sorry. then rook comes down. Sorry. Um, if rook takes, then also then also this rook comes down. Sir, uh, sir, how about uh, bishop? Oh, no, no, then now queen to a1. How about bishop? Uh, bishop queen to a1, then black will take the rook. Now you are exchanged down. So, bishop d5. Or in fact, you are a piece down right now or what? So no, bishop, you are an exchange down. You are an exchange down. So, Sorry. bishop d5. Bishop d5. Bishop d5. Then queen will take this rook. Oh. Yeah. So, queen can go to f1. Nine. Nine. Yeah. So, the queen can go to f1. Queen can... Where? Where? Now itself. Queen can go to f1. Then queen will take the rook. So you are exchanged down. If you capture on f6, then it's a rook versus the bishop. Yeah, rook is going to win that. 
Yes, and black will be even a pawn. No, oh, I thought white would win. Now black is winning. Yeah. Very confusing. So, so queen c six. What is the answer to queen c six? Answer to queen c six is nothing. You can, um, you can put the uh, bishop on c four. Bishop on c four. But you put the bishop on c four, then queen c still queen takes on f six. Ah, that's what. So then, uh, can you go back one minute? I uh, think the I think the answer to c six is uh, in the first move. Rook f six is wrong. Correct, Aditya, you are right. So, because of this intermediate move, the rook f6, though it looks very, very tempting. It looks very tempting that you will be able to take it. There is a mate threat. You cannot take capture back. But actually, it is very difficult to see this. But queen c6 is a surprising intermediate move because of which black will win after that. So, rook, if you are white, you should not capture on f6 first. Right? Maybe you should play h3 so that your king has uh, got some So, so. Yeah. So, is this game the point of black winning or white winning? No, no, no. It is not like that. See, these positions are intentionally given. You see, the every time in when you are playing a game, do you get a clue? Somebody will tell you that oh, right now you know what you have a chance to win. Nobody will tell you right in a game, uh -huh. or you have a mate in three. Nobody will tell you. Or oh, you are getting checkmated in two moves. Please defend yourself. Nobody is going to tell you that, right? So yeah. that is that is how these positions are given, and you have to find the best move. You, suppose you are to play. Now you don't assume that oh you are going to win it, and that's you have to find the winning move. Maybe maybe you are losing, and you have to find a defensive move, or or like this. Now this actually this position fit in very well with what we talked today. Yeah. <clears throat> Because you have to calculate very well, and you have to see intermediate moves. Then only you should do that. Otherwise, if rook takes f6, otherwise. It is ending up. You are ending up actually losing the game by playing rook takes f6. And if you had just played h3, then the game would have continued, right? And maybe you would have later on threatened something. So, so that is what is the that is what is the importance of these positions. So you you know you are never told who is winning and whether it is who is better. Only when only. you analyze it, then only it. Yeah, and the trick is that. You have to analyze it dispassionately. You have to look at all the possibilities. And then, so this queen c six is not easy to find. Ah, move. Queen c six is a very difficult move to find. Okay, next position we will put it on the board. One two three one two rook on f one. Black has got. Okay, I will try and put it on the board. <coughs> no, I think the pawn are different. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the position. and it is white to play again this is a slightly difficult position it's not very straight forward i hope i have got it right now yeah i think it is right think about it white to play
what are the possible moves that you can i mean what are the good candidate moves what do you notice i can see two good moves for white so yeah uh i don't think it's correct move but rook rook to c7 rook to c7 queen will simply take it no yes sir. uh then white queen captures b5 yeah but do you get any checkmate you don't get any checkmate no no not at all um i think so yeah well, i think i think queen g3 because um so oh, that could work now of queen g7 yeah. and rook c8 So the knight is threatened. Knight is threatened. So yeah, then uh, if the king moves to the left, then you can fork the um. No, no, you can't fork it. Yeah. So the black king is probably not going to move anywhere because if wherever it moves, it will get forked. So black king is not going to move. But black black is threatening to take the knight. So what do you do? Do you defend the knight? You can't put the knight to f three because the bishop will very happily take it. and then uh, the g file will open and then uh, i think uh, then i think black will get oh, a sorry, the queen can also take so, the bishop uh, oh queen can take it huh? yeah yeah knight can go to f3 but if knight goes to f3 you are threatening on e4 sorry d4 also So knight f3, bishop takes f3, queen f3, and then pawn to e5. So the queen will defend the pawn on f6, and you will get a central connected passed pawns. I don't know whether it is. It is. No, sir. Then the queen can go to eight. Yeah, queen can go to yeah, queen to eight. Queen to d8 will not work because yeah, that's a threat, right? Yeah. So. So, so knight c4 won't work. Right? Knight c4 will not work. Knight so, c4 will simply so, black will take. It. So, so I'm actually wrong. getting confused with all those variations that I everyone is telling, but because you're not actually playing them. Sir. so so i think various move what if we move queen to g3 if you move queen to g3 what is the threat is a very big threat g7 yeah g7 so is a threat and there is no easy way to defend it unfortunately right unfortunately there is no way to defend. how will you defend it uh if the rook comes to uh, f8 uh, F yes sir if rook comes to f8 then queen will still go to g7 sir why not capture the knight okay earlier itself yeah now yeah now capture the knight queen will go here rook to f8 rook to f8 and now rook to c7 Oh, next no. move mate sir next move will be mate you can try playing something like this to queen to d6 but then you are this is still going to become a yeah but the, but now the it is uh, the material wise it's equal yeah material wise it is equal but but this position sir? definitely very bad for so the next move might be good no it wouldn't be a mate but it would be oh. you could but you would win the Yeah, you would win the queen next move because next move for white would be b eight. So b eight, you will not win the queen, but you rook will go to a seven also. <coughs> so this is a this is a position. So so, so what would white move after? Uh, what would what would um black? I mean, what would could you go to the last move? Yes, sir. 
Could you go? F takes F seven. See here, there is a very little chance for. Look to B seven. Look to B seven. Ah uh, yes, sir. Can you go and move back? Yeah. Yes, sir. Here. Nothing. Sir. Nothing. Sir. I got it. Yeah. It sir, here. What would black move after this? Black uh, will want to move something. Maybe he will move a pawn or something. But but he'll we'll have to move it. because of M passa. And Pasan. No, I am Pasan is not. But uh, black, <laughs> see, there is no way right now. It's it's. Vinna, sorry, not M Pasan. No, no, black. Zugzwang, I mean Zugzwang. Yeah. Sorry, I mean Zugzwang. Black will Zugzwang. go like this. White will go like this, and white is really threatening uh, to take down. No, sir, sir, sir. Why would you do this? You could have just got your look to beat. Oh, yeah, right. You couldn't get to to beat. But two. even after, yeah, now uh, D two. D two. Now it is going to become over, ah. Huh? Because this check. Now queen to d8. Queen to d8. Oh, Now you will take takes, it. Uh, then rook. Uh, queen takes. Mm, okay. Uh, uh, king down. So king down. King down. But then. Queen to f3. Oh yeah. Sir. F3. And then so easy. Very. Easy. Sir, 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 sir. Next, can you go to the last one? Queen to f3 once. Could you go to queen to f3? I know a move to get black get a queen. Yeah. In this, why couldn't? In this, yeah, there. Pawn to. Oh, then d1. Yeah. Yeah. It's very easy for one. So it doesn't help. But I think I I would have thought about two moves. The queen g three is definitely thing. And what about knight to g four also? Oh yes, sir. Next move would be f six, right? F six is threatened. And h seven is also threatened. If you move the rook, then it will be h seven is also threatened. You cannot get the rook to g one. So I was thinking of knight to g four, also, but I could you not. You can move uh, the king up. You could move the king up. Yeah, you could. We found. So what? Yeah, so what would you move now? Yeah, actually, this is a good defensive. The moment king comes up, I think black is in a okay position, right? Yeah, sir. I don't think it. it this is such a good move. Correct. Either f, either f three or or g three would work. Yeah, I think queen g three that way turns out to be a quite good move because very little black can do, right? Black can do very little. Sir, I'm just wondering what would happen if, if, if yeah, black king came to f eight. Black king just... came to f eight, then the knight fork is there. Oh yeah, yeah. So black king cannot move. If he goes to e8, uh, sorry, if he goes to d8, then this four kills there. So black king cannot move anywhere. But black king can even if he comes here, then also this queen to g7 is over, right? Because this rook is falling after that. So it, black king cannot move anywhere. So it's a bit complicated. That's why I'm I'm not I'm also not exactly. Uh, sure, but uh, maybe knight f3 was okay move, but queen g3 seems to be a strong move. queen g3. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. I think with that we are completing our uh, second position, and uh, I will send the next fortnight's positions. I will send it for analysis. Okay. So, bye. Sir. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye, sir. Let me stop bye. the recording.